So what are you doing now? Just putting the keys in the ignition and I'm going to open the window because it's so hot in here that it's a good idea to put some breeze through. Okay, just be really careful of your fingers, it can slam down. Make sure these are done nice and tight. And so we check the mobile phone. So they're mobile as well. Yeah, so there's a mobile as well. So does that only be called by the radio? Yeah, anyone can use it in or terms like of mostly it's the base. Yeah. So it's mostly people at the base. I'd say that just I'd say that's got no power because the the main power is not on, so we'll double check that. Alright, engine and auxiliary generator hours. So if we look at the engine and auxiliary generator hours, they're around here. Yep. So we have obviously starboard, then we have port, then we have the gen set up here and how to turn the gen set on. And so all you're recording in this part is the engine hours at start and then when we close the boat down later, we put our finish hours yep. and our total. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I'll do, I find it easy to, if someone reads it and someone else writes. Yeah. All right, so have a crack at that at, at start. Start on the, we'll go port first. Yeah, so port what? Port engine hours is 8479.23. Yep. Yep. Starboard, yep. 8182.87. Mm -hmm. What's next on your list? Uh, gen set. Gen set is 8631.1. 8631.1. Correct. Good? Yep. All right. So then you go back to your checklist and you put your initial there to say that it's been it's done. Been mm -hmm. All right. So what's next? Fire alarms. Fire alarms and? Build switches. Build switches. And so what you've got down here is the master fire alarm. The fire alarm is all linked to the engine room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've got two ways to test the fire alarm. Yep. You've got using the buttons or when you open the door, it will automatically set the fire alarm off. Yep. Yeah, and then you have to reset it. Yep. So the simplest way to set the fire alarm or to test the fire alarm is to hit fault test. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, big. Just gonna correct that, I pushed the wrong button. So we're gonna start that again. Yeah, right. you can edit that first bit out. So the simplest way to test the fire alarm is to actually hit the alarm test. That's the fire alarm, nice and loud. Then you hit isolate, turns it off, yep. and then you hit reset, same button, and it puts it back into the normal mode. Normal mode. So yeah. The second way to test the fire alarm is to simply open the door, and it will set off the alarm. Close the door. Isolate, so, reset. Yeah. When you saw inside the door, that's the manual release yep. for setting off the Mistex system. And we'll explain that what that system so that, is later. That's down in the engine room, isn't it? That's down yep. in the that's engine room. It's a one-time system, so you yep. can only use it once. Yep. Yeah. All right. Then there are instructions here on the door as to how to use the Mistex. Yeah. So that's the fire alarm. That's how you test it and reset it. Mm -hmm. Then you've got your build pump switch and alarms here. You can see that it's in the auto mode. Yep. And you can see that there's a manual mode. Yep. It should always be in the auto oh, mode. Yeah. And if you want to test it, you also are looking at the lights, the power's on. If you want to test it, you switch it to manual mm -hmm. and you listen for the pump. Yep. All right, so let's have a listen. Hard to hear, you also saw the light came up. I turned it off quickly because I don't want to be pumping badge build water into the marina, mm -hmm. right? Because the water in the bilges is a bit filthy, yeah. yeah? So it's a quick test, have a look at the power, turn it to manual, turn See it, there's light, yeah. and then turn it back to auto, keep it in the auto position, yeah. right? Done. So it's up.